All righty. Good morning, guys. Good so morning. today is going to be our first weekend session of the year. Uh, we're going to just go over. It's going to be a quick, uh, quick session. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy. We're just going to go over um, a couple basic things. Um, we will be go. We will be uh, running down the basics today. Basically, our setup. Uh, the setup that we trade uh, and the setup that we watch. Um, another thing I'm going to go over, some new journaling techniques that I was able to um, fine tune and uh, was able to, uh, someone was able to pass some knowledge down to me. So I'm going to pass it down to you guys. Um, this is already the way that I'm journaling, but it's, this is just going to make it uh just that much better and it might make your guys' life a little bit easier and then uh you know the lottos man it is going to be powerful um go i'm going to go over a brief 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 breakdown of the lottos to show you the damage that these lottos can do if you if you i mean not damage actually um i should say that vice versa the actual gains you can get off of these lottos are are monstrous that's all i can say um you know uh this is a a new year a fresh start you know um uh, looks like we started our year so far so good um uh, the momentum moving forward we got uh this week in the bag man beautiful week beautiful uh movement in the market market decided to push down and we took uh, we took advantage of that Regardless of um, any type of direction, bullish or bearish, we're able to find our profits in the charts. Um, a couple of things I, I kind of want to touch on is um, risk management. Risk management is what's going to make or break you. Any type of strategy that you're using, risk management is a must. It is a must. And then, uh, you know, the basic questions that everybody asks and that you should be asking yourself daily. What is your setup, right? Um, do you understand risk management? And um, <laughs> before you're exiting your trades, um, is it hitting your stop loss before it hits the TP? You know, are, are you exiting before the trades play out? That's, that's a lot of things that we're going to have to ask ourselves this year, right? Um, so... Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and break down these new journaling techniques that I was able to get for you guys. Um, uh, please do me a favor. Um, all if you guys have any questions, um, you know, save it and save it until I'm um I'm, I'm done with e each section. Like for example, we're gonna go over the journaling right now, and then as soon as I'm done going over the journaling, please ask the questions about the journaling, and then we'll kind of just move down like that. So um. Any questions, please, please uh, hold tight, and then I will um, give you a chance to go ahead and ask those questions. Okay. Okay, okay so real quick, um, you guys are all journaling, right? Yes. I do. Okay, I, so I it's, yes. Yes, it's very, very mandatory, man. Um, you cannot, if, if, if you're able to uh, execute a trade, you should be able to uh, execute on your journal. And... Um, you know, I, I can't touch on how much journaling will uh, benefit and affect your training. I cannot touch on that. Um, you know, especially if you have under five, five years, under 10 years, um, journaling is going to be vital. Journaling is going to be very vital, guys. OK, so um, here's a quick peek of uh, the new journaling techniques. Uh, I want the guys in my mentorship to uh, start using. So let's see what we got here. <clears throat> One second. Okay, here we go. So this is um, these are gonna be the new journaling uh basic structure of what how I'm gonna want you guys to um start journaling, right? It's very basic, right? So um, you know, I can go ahead and share this uh, if you guys want to use my exact one. Okay, let me go ahead and put this in the message, and then um. Let's see your one second. What is this? Okay. okay. Post this in the chat here. So here's a link to the um to that doc if you guys want to copy it or if you guys want to do it uh physically 
or if you guys want to do it through the um through the docs but um so base basic basic right any after after um every execution of a trade once you fully exited the trade this should be your next step um before entering into the next trade i highly highly recommend and i'm going to make it mandatory that um after every trade this has to be filled out this has to be filled out we can't wait on it we need the data fresh we need um we just need to be on top of everything so we can understand what we're doing and improve off of you know what we're doing wrong and improve off of what we're doing right um so i'm going to go ahead and go and break down each section it's pretty much self-explanatory but i'm going to go ahead and break it down for you guys so obviously the date the date's going to be the day that we're trading right so um we'll use as far as uh, for example purposes we'll use yesterday right so yesterday would be um one five twenty four right yeah and um you know the stock or the ticker uh of the trade we we were gonna say SPX right mm -hmm. and then um I'm sure you guys know how to get all this entry time right you you'd go look into your um into your uh whatever platform you're using most of us use TOS so we would put here the exact time of your entry, it, it, either if it's your pilot, if it's your main trade, it doesn't matter. When you're entering the trade, I need a timestamp. I need a timestamp on that. Um, next, so okay, let's go ahead and do that. We'll say uh, nine, nine, nine fifteen. Fifteen and why? Oh, hey, Docs, man. Zero to eight six. So that would be next, and then we would put here the contract size that you entered at this time, right? So, for example, if it was just a pilot, you'd say five five contracts. And if there's a pilot pilot position, right? So, um, and then. Uh, right here, I need to know what was your stop loss? What was your first stop loss? So we'll give an example. Uh, 457 uh, key level. Right? So that's that's what I would put for the stop loss section, right? Because that means my stop loss is set once we break 457 that key level that bj key level that supply zone that demand that is my stop loss once i get a clean break i'm not saying just a candle touching or a wick i need a clean break as a, a solid candle under this level that would be my stop loss right and then your first tp right um you know the first area that you take profits i let's just say we'll say a dollar move right we'll say four four fifty eight 458 right 458 uh bj right that's 458 bj key so that would be the first uh tp right and then exit time pretty everything's pretty much self-explanatory guys you know i need the exact timestamp of your exit so i can understand how long you're holding trades so our entry time would be 9.15. We say an average trade is anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes. So let's put 9.45. 9.45. Nine, nine uh, and then uh, I need to know how much how much you gained off of that trade, right? So twenty percent. We'll give a gauge twenty percent. We'll say, we'll say three hundred percent, man, because that's what we've been averaging, right? Now let's just keep it. Let's keep it legit. Let's keep it good. We'll say one hundred percent, right? That means we're doubling. We're doubling our money per trade, right? No, nothing. Nothing crazy, right? And then I need to know the setup that you use. Did you use uh we'll we'll do with the nine EMA rejection? Right? We'll say that. And then uh, 
I need a, a trade grade, right? So a trade grade would consist of, um, it's just like school, right? I need you to grade yourself on that trade. So if you uh, executed that, that trade with um, pure conviction and confidence and there was nothing holding you back, you felt confident, you're A plus, right? If this trade was a lucky trade and you got lucky and there was nothing, you know, it's just luck, you put F, right? And then uh, if uh, if it was decent and, you know, it was okay, then you'd put a C and so forth and so forth. And then uh, this one at the end, right? Let's say We'll say B plus, right? We'll say B plus. B plus, right? And um, lastly, would be the notes, emotions, and review, right? This is probably the, the chunk of it, the meat and potatoes of the notes, right? Um, in here, I'm going to need to know the, the, the emotions you felt, you felt through the trade. I need uh, your review as, as far as um, what you did correct and didn't do correct, um, how you could have improved, and um, what you will and won't change. And those are just, um, it's, these are just templates and uh, ideas which you would write in the notes and emotions uh, review section. Uh, you're not limited uh, to what to write. This section is, is going to be uh, the emotions, notes, and review section is going to be the section that you're going to look at the most when you're looking at your trades. You're going to see, you know, when you entered contracts and all that good stuff, right? But what's going to help you understand this trade? Is what you write here so keep that in mind this section is going to be the one of the more important sections right um because this is going to help me and this is going to help you understand yourself uh, only way that i'm going to be able to help you get the most is by understanding your trading dna right um everybody has this trading a different trading dna when i'm talking about trading dna i'm speaking on uh, scalpers, people who can hold a little bit longer, people who are more risky, people uh, who like to go against the trend, people who like to go with the trend. Everybody's different, so I have to, um, I have to figure out what what what's your DNA, so I can help you uh, approach um, that type of level and and your uh, your goals. Um, so that was a brief, brief, brief breakdown on these on the on the notes, right? This it's it's real simple. I don't want to overcomplicate anything, and uh, you know, this it will keep you on top. It will keep you from over trading because you can see how many trades you've taken that day. Um, this will keep you again from over trading because as soon as you execute a trade, regardless if it's good or bad, goes against you. It gives you that brief time to kind of step back and kind of digest what happened to put the data down and um, decide if you what's the next move you want to make. Uh, without this, um, I feel that you will overtrade, right? It will make you jump in and out of positions. It will, um, this is just good for you guys. Just please, uh, just listen to me. Um, apply this to your to your journal, to already, already what we're doing. Uh, you know, we're not going to change our, our daily routines. We're going to continue to start our days with our, our gratitude affirmations and a small exercise. But as far as trading our, I mean, uh, journaling our trades, I need you guys to start uh, journaling this type of style because it just makes it easier for everybody. It makes it easier for me, makes it easier for you guys to put in the data. It's just, uh, I feel it's cleaner. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's the that's a brief brief breakdown of how I need the how I need or I would like to see the journals. Like I was um touching on a few few days ago when I seen CP's um journaling and man C CP had some beautiful journals. And uh, like I said, CP, this is this some something similar to what you have, 
a little less advanced, less advanced, yours is more advanced, but this is basically uh, the basic, man. This is, uh, you know, I know it looks real basic, but this is gold here, guys. This is gold, you know, um, I don't know. I know I continue to say that we need, we need to journal and we have to journal because it's a mandatory. It is a mandatory. There's, if you can take a trade, then you can journal. You know, that's, that's just basic. So um, that's with the journal. Uh, is there any questions on the journal or any insight or anything that anybody wants to touch on um, this, these new journaling techniques? I have Notion database, but it takes more time to fill it. So I think Excel is a lot easier uh, to fill it out. I yeah, this is real basic because you can just go here and all you do, you press tab, 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 tab for the next one, right? Yeah, and so, so starting Monday, I'm going to use this template. And then look, we can keep this all year, man. Look, you know what I mean? all year so there's no excuse there's no excuse this year i'm giving you guys the journal i'm giving you the technique um i know a lot of you guys still like to do a pen and paper there's nothing wrong with that continue continue to do a pen and paper i do pen and paper right? uh, i also like to uh, you know, uh, commenting on the you know chart I, mean? I, I, I don't just tell you guys to do this shit i do the shit too guys yeah. you know what i mean i don't you know i got i got books and books guys you know i don't yeah. everything that i tell you guys to do i do myself you know this is these are you know well you, you know what I mean? it's just yeah i'm gonna keep doing probably on paper, on, on paper, yeah. on paper, on paper, on paper as well but yeah, i'm gonna try to uh fill the um uh, excel as well yeah, do this because this is uh just in case pen and paper uh gets lost um yeah a couple weeks ago Actually, a few months ago, I had a, a data breach where um, I lost my Discord and I lost a lot of data, man. Mm -hmm. So um, now yeah. I'm incorporating uh, saving data multiple ways and um, just, you know what I mean? I can't lose data because I'm a data guy. You guys know mm -hmm. that. I, I base everything off of data. I don't, I don't, there's no chance. There's no luck. There's no hope. It's all data. That's it. And, you know? That's what um that's how we should base our trades. We should base off no emotion, based off a of strategy, data, and basic common yeah. sense, guys. Basic common sense. But yeah, uh it's something something bias. But yeah, that's a cool question on um the confidence of grade. Well, the emotion part we can um do afterwards, but yeah. uh, we want to put like our confidence at the beginning of the trade. I, so this is just a template, right? These are oh. the basic ones I need, right? Um you add whatever works for you bro you know yeah. I mean? if you want to change it up you want to move the sections but this is what i use and this is what i need you guys to start incorporating something something in this type of you know what i mean something like this you know it, it, it's uh i'm not saying do exactly like this but just like i said take from me and use it as a skeleton and then you know what i mean uh incorporate it with yours that's that's how i would I would see it because I know if I if if you try the main push, thing. Yeah. yeah if you try to push something like specific on someone it 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 doesn't work so great so mm -hmm. uh, this is a template this is a skeleton uh, take this and already incorporate it with what we've been doing all year you know what I mean we've already been journaling and um, it's it's almost the same thing but it's a little more it gives yeah. me a little better insight you know. Okay. I also have a question. Uh, what's the best way, maybe, and uh, what was the right way to grade the trade? Okay, so um, if everything works out, right, so you exit, I mean, you enter when you're supposed to enter, and you exit exactly at your TP, that would be an A+. Plus, oh, okay. Right? okay got so there would be, there was no hesitation. You didn't have to add to the position as soon as you get in. It never broke your stop loss. It just continued to go in your direction. Boom that's an a plus okay. um now if uh you get caught in chop mm, the trade goes and touches stop loss a couple times you have to add and then it goes to your tp then that would be like a c you you get what okay. i mean so some, some something like that the grade is not is not super important but it kind of gives you an idea when you're coming back to look at the trades you want to mm -hmm. look i want to look at my a, a plus setups so you you would click this and it show all your A sub A plus setups, right? Or mm -hmm. you click this and it show all your F setups. And then one week I would sit down with you 
and we opened this up and then I'd say, okay, let's go ahead and go all to your F, F grades, right? And then we'd sit here and we'd look at this and we'd digest it like, man, why did you get an F here? Oh, because you traded with emotions. Um, you no. try to take a, you try to do a reversal or whatever. You get what I mean? And then that's how we will focus on what to stay away from and what to continue to do. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Nice, nice. Okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's the basics on the um, on the journaling. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and break down the the basic setup that that we trade now. <clears throat> okay so this is our our basic chart right and this is what we trade this is um these are the basic indicators that i use i'm not going to go and break down indicators today i'm not going to go break down what everything means i'm just going to break down our basic setup right let's go ahead and use a trading view one trading view i think would be a little easier to look at <clears throat> okay so let's go ahead and open up the five minute screen. Real break, uh, real brief breakdown of the basic setups that we take. Uh, I'm gonna go over the the setups that we took, some of the setups we took yesterday, right? <clears throat> so let's go ahead and clear up the chart. Like I said, I'm not gonna be going over all the major um, indicators today, but um, I'm gonna do as we would do throughout as we do throughout the day and how we start the day, right? So of course we would set our pre-market highs and pre-market lows. <clears throat> and we would base we base uh, most of our trades off of that, at least until we break out the range. Um, let's go ahead and uh, add. Okay. Oh shoot. So we are trend traders, right guys? So we wait. We wait for the trend and, um, you know, we, we trade with the trend, right? Um, so one of the, one of the basic things that we look for is structure, right? We look for structure and we based our trades off the five minute chart. We do use the one minute chart, um, as, uh, for algos, as, um, areas of interest for the key levels, um, but we don't base, I don't base my trades off that one minute, but I use it the same way I would use the ticks. And like I said, I'm not gonna go too deep into uh, indicators or anything like that today. I'm just gonna go over our basic, 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 uh, basic setups that we take and we wait for every day. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so pre-market high, pre-market, let's take these pivot points up. Okay, so here we go. This is uh this is the five minute and this is the one minute right here, guys, right? So let's go ahead and pay attention. So we based we base our trades, uh we're trend we we trade the trend and we base our trades off the trend and we ride the trend, right? So uh from the open, right? We can see we're already rejecting off of this uh this pre-market low right here, right? Rejected quickly and it's it started to become bullish. Um we use the nine and the 20. Uh, I use it as a signal for me to get into trades and for me to understand the trend, right? So um, from the beginning of the day, we always call pre-market high, pre-market low. No matter what the day is, no matter what's going on, no matter if it gaps, no matter what, we're watching pre-market high, pre-market low. The reason we watch pre-market high, pre-market low is because we don't want to trade in this range, right? Most of the time, when we try to trade in this range, you'll get chopped. You know what I mean? You'll get chopped. Uh, yeah. So we'll, we'll keep keep that in mind. So the the smaller the pre-market, high pre-market, low range, the better. This is a pretty high range, right? Because we had big gap or whatever, right? But um, this is the basic trade that we took. The first trade that we took, we waited for the clean break of the pre-market high. And we got in. Uh, if you wanted to be a little more um, dangerous, you could get in on the test of the nine, right? 
and um, the first break, this candle right here, right? Mm -hmm. well, this is when we enter. This is when we entered. If you look at the tape, watch the tape. We entered at the at the break of the pre-market high, and and we took it to the next key level, right? So yeah. Go ahead, Dima. So you, you pretty much enter like a of a break of structure. Yes, break of structure, yeah. nine EMA, um, a lot of things, not just one thing, right? We need multiple things to help us, right? We got to look yeah. at the volume, how it's breaking, right? If you see the volume, how it's breaking this pre-market high, look at that volume. To this, to me, this is legit, you know? Mm -hmm. It's not, it doesn't, if you look right here, when we come up here, look at that volume. It didn't yes, want to break yes, it, yes, right? Yes. It did not want to break it. When we come over That's here, a good point. Yes, look at this volume, boom. That's enough conviction for me. I'm getting in right here before it breaks. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then once this breaks, I'm adding. I'm adding to my position, and we're just taking it to the next key level. And that is a hundred to three hundred percent every time. Every time, every time, and we're just taking it from level to level, and that's it. You know, if uh, and then we do the same thing for this way. You know, we waited for that. We, if you watch the tape, we did the same thing the opposite way. We waited for the um, the pre market um, pre market high to break. We used the pre market high as a stop loss. And if you watch the volume when it's breaking this pre market pre market high, I don't know what else you need, right? And yeah. this candle right here, you get in. And that's another 200, uh, 200, 300 percent, right? And it's just waiting and waiting for these setups right waiting uh understanding another one that we took was this vwap one i don't know if you guys remember the vwap rejection uh we yeah, walked yeah. we walked through that one together right we uh we waited for the clean break below the vwap and we used the vwap more or less as a stop loss as a gauge of our position um uh, i called out the whole time if we have a clean break above vwap then we're gonna get out and um you know, another, another, another beautiful example of uh, another two, three hundred percent trade. You know, and these are these are some things that we need to we need to continue to watch and focus on, right? When we come to the VWAP, when we come to major levels, when we come, because uh, there's only two things that can happen when we come to the VWAP, right? It can either push up really hard or it can push down really hard, right? And that's that's more or less what the VWAP does, right? So we'll keep we'll keep keep that in mind, guys. Keep that in mind. And um, you know, we don't want to trade something I want to uh, go over is that we don't want to trade against the trend, right? Anytime we're trading against the trend, I tell you guys all the time, make sure you're taking profits quickly. Uh when you're trading against the trend, you don't want trades to run. I mean, you want them to run, but they're most likely not going to run, right? Um, again, using uh, major levels, using key levels, waiting for levels to break, waiting for confirmations before going is what's going to, is, is what's going to help you this year. If you guys can concentrate on that, waiting for levels to break before entering and waiting for levels to break before exiting is going to, mm -hmm. it's going to make or break your year. Trust me. <clears throat> yeah. yeah question here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yeah. So you said uh, Dima mentioned break of structure, or we wait for it to. So if you go back to yesterday's, I think first trade. Okay. So, so when it broke that overnight high or uh, pre market high. Yes. You took it before it broke it. Yeah. So, so how would you gauge that? Okay. That so, like I said, the volume. Look at this volume, right? Look at the volume building. Yeah. And as soon as this candle continues to go, you can see, right? You can see the volume and everything is going bullish momentum, right? And this is where it's, you have to take the risk, right? Right. You have to get in and you just, you kind of just have to like say, okay, uh, I'm going to take the risk and I'm going to use the next level as my stop loss. And uh, if it starts going good and I get confirmation, I'm going to add to it. Got it, got it. Thank so you. So it's, it's, there's no, uh, they do it like this so people get scared and people don't get in, right? Yeah. This is what they do. Yeah. But, but if you continue oh. to watch the EMAs, you can tell what they're doing here. Right. If you look at the five minute, look at that. It was right there, right there, right at the nine. And we always talk about that. We always talk about if the MACD is in confluence with the nine, 
when it hits the nine, we get a boost every time. Right? Right, guys? Yes. Yeah, Especially the ticks. I guarantee you, if we look at the ticks right here, the ticks are set up. You know, I guarantee you. Ticks were set up right there. Um, you know, right at the nine, uh, MACD, everything, everything. So um, this is when confluencing factors come in, right? This is um this just takes a little more experience to understand, you know. But even if you don't have the experience, you can get in the next one just, just to be safe. And yeah, you're gonna miss the first 20, 30 percent move, but you're gonna get the rest of it, the 60, 80 percent. You get what I mean? Yeah. So it's sometimes it's better to be safe, you know. Sometimes it's better to be safe and just to wait for this guy to close. Because once this guy's closed, there's nothing. There's nothing that, you know what I mean? Of course, yeah, they can fake out and come back down and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's just you either you have to make the decision there, you know. And uh, if you kind of wait a minute too long, you're you're going to miss half the trade, you know. Thank you. But uh, yeah, it's all it all comes down to conviction, confluence, and uh, price action volume. A lot of things have to be taken in consideration. But uh, yeah, anything um, anything else on the trade setup before I I go over the lotto real quickly to show you show you guys uh, a couple things on the lotto. So we pretty much use all the time like uh, I I mean uh, I know this we pretty much use all the time like uh, kind of break of structure for uh, for all the setups. 100 uh, percent i need a breaker structure bro i need a breaker structure to get in i need a breaker structure of uh to get out uh like i said we're a trend trade we're, we're trend traders right so we need that structure to break for us mm -hmm. if we're not in the trade for us to get into the trade right because the market is in cycles right and uh cycles structure algos is all the same right um so we need a break of algo. We need a break of structure. We need we need a break of a level. We we need things to break before we can go or before we can get out. That's okay. that's something yeah. to to always remember. You know what I mean? That's if if anything you that will make you a very safe trader and will will it's just risk management, man. You just have to wait. You just have to be patient. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. By the way, since I start to do like a, a price action on a chart itself. But I can see clearly, I mean, where, where is breaking, where, where is changing character and stuff like that. And I mean, mm -hmm. it's working better. And I start to see my uh, my interest differently too. Nice. So it nice. Help, helps me a lot now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always remember there's retest and there's uh, rejections and uh, a lot of yeah, things yeah, you have to yeah, take yeah. into consideration, right? It doesn't... You know, patterns and sloping support and resistance. Yes, sir. Yes. yes, sir. Up a handle, you know. Everything, all the structures, everything. We need it nice. all. We need it all, guys. But uh, yeah, yeah. let's go over this lotto real quick. <clears throat> so these are the lottos that you guys were asking about. I tried to bring up the the uh, the contracts from uh, yesterday. It didn't let me, so I'm I'm only able to do the contracts for Monday. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just show you guys, um, more or less how these lottos move and how you can get anywhere between, like I said, a minimum of a hundred to a thousand percent. On these, on these, uh, on these lottos, and it's the same way too. If uh, you could lose, right? But there's a way I'm gonna show you guys where, when you lose, you're only gonna lose very minimal, and when you, when it goes for you, you're gonna make a lot, right? So there's, there's a way to, to see this, right? And there's a way to understand how, how it moves, and it all comes down to the option price, the premium, and the option block, right? So up here I have um I have puts and down here I have calls right SPX right and this okay let's look at this one the calls at the end so we can see right that these contracts at the low right at twelve thirty right were a dollar sixty nine right and right at the close they went up to $4.37, right? And that's a, uh, man, that's like a 300%, I don't know, no, 200% profit, right? In just a couple minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> so, 
something to take into consideration like Demo was saying he was he was marking it right which I mark them all the time right so you would see something like this right what I would do right and uh, you'd more or less you use it the same way you use the technicals right you would um, you'd look for the low and you you know this is a low on on the other contracts that are for for the day these will be we'll say we'll take the one out right we'll say 71 cents right um when you're playing uh spx uh lotto you do not want to buy any contracts under 50 cents cuz if you uh at the end last hour or so any contracts under 50 cents is a 90% chance it will go to zero anything under 50 cents so what i would recommend is anywhere between 60 to 90 cents for your lotto or even a to a dollar we'll say dollar 20 60 cents to a dollar 20 you want to look for the lottos right and um as as the time goes and we have more uh chances for me to show it to you real time when when it happens i'll explain it a little more it's just it's it's hard to sh show it here because uh these are uh contracts for monday so but um chart there's one thing i can tell you is to chart your um chart your uh, option prices right chart them and uh, just watch them and watch them how they move right even when you, if you're not in the trade you can still have have it open right um so let's see here let me put it let's see how this one moves So here's another one. This one went from a dollar twenty-five to three dollars. That's a two hundred fifty fifty percent move, right? Just in a couple minutes. And that is just based off of this move right here. One, two, three. Three uh well, one, two, three candles, three hundred percent, a hundred percent per candle, we'll say, right? Mm -hmm. And these are at the end, man. Um every day every day every day we there's opportunities like this right um and we want to stay away from the expensive contracts you see the 16 dollar one this thing went all the way down to six dollars you know what i mean so uh at the end the cheaper ones are better right and in my eyes if you're trying to do a lotto you don't want to you don't want to go doing a lotto at a high strike price you want the lottos like i said it, between my sweet spot from the lottos is about 90 bucks from what I've seen, I've been able to get that 90 bucks to at least three something every almost. Almost I'm going to I don't want to say every time, but it, it happens a lot. And, um, you know, uh, it comes down to risk management, you know, mm -hmm. um, you got to keep in mind. Right. I'm not telling you guys to do this. Right. But say the opportunity is there. Right. And. um you know, you, you you can buy both sides, right? It's going to cost you, you know, we'll say 180 cents, right? 90 and 90, right? And, um, you know, you you can make up to 300%. So it cleans, it wipes out the loss and plus some. Yes, yes. yes. So it's, it's it, it, I don't recommend to do yeah, that, but I'm kind of just, yeah. just giving you an example, right? Giving you, and a lot of things I'm going to tell you too is, when these things go up like that, you got to take the price. You got to take the profit quick because if not, it will pull back just as quick. You have yeah, yeah. small, small time, right? A few minutes to to capitalize on that premium. And this is why this chart is vital. This is why this chart is vital. You know what I mean? It just shows you the volume. It shows you, uh, you know, you can't see it here, but usually it shows you the volume and price and how many orders are, are yeah, pending. Yeah. Isn't right? it the volatility once everything man everything yeah. you just right here it shows you shows you everything you know price should, the tp yeah. if you want yeah. exactly tps and everything man it's just it's just uh very vital for the for the lotto and uh you know when monday comes um i'll go uh i'll do a little deeper dive to kind of show you um what contracts so you, you're picking and whatnot also mentioned before how the um how the day goes yeah, it depends. All depends. There has to be a setup, right? Like, for example, this was a setup right here, the rejection off the cloud. Um, 
And then this would have been another setup down here off of the low that we failed to break and we were continue to taper. That was a beautiful explosion up, right? So things like that, uh, we need like ticks to be maxed out. We need to be like uh, at major levels, like at the 30, I mean, at the at the nine or at the 50 or- um, You mentioned volume yeah. in there. You don't want to take trades right here in the middle of a trade, only a couple points, right? You want to take big trades like this. And this is, these are the candles you'll get 100% per, per candle, you know, 100% per candle because you're getting it at the low and you're getting it when everyone thinks it's going to break down. You, you know what I mean? Because we're not, we're not going first. These guys are going first. They're saying, okay, look, it's, it's pushing down. Price action showing down. MACD showing down. We're going to short before it breaks the level. But it never broke the level. And it shoots up and it did the same thing here, right? Exact same thing. It shot up. So these would have been two great lottos right there. Boom. There would have been another good lotto right there. Boom. So you can see. For example, how this contract moved right here. For example, if you're in a call, this went up 400%, and then now you're zero. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it, it happens that quick. It happens that quick. But uh, is there anything, um, any questions you had on the lotto? I know you guys had some questions on the lotto. There's not too much I can I really break down on the lotto because the um, the option price is, is only showing for Monday. So I can't. But if they showed me the option price for Friday, then I'd, I'd be able to show you better, better, uh, better movement. It doesn't let me pick the, the options from yesterday. By the way, what was your entry for uh, Lotto yesterday, at least at the end? Okay, let's see. And that was a month ago. Let's see. Give me a second. A few seconds. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I will tell you. One second. My lotto yesterday. I don't check because it. I'm trying to understand what was the optimal uh time. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it out right now. I'll give me one second. I just don't want to want to share my private information. Yeah, but like part of the risk management, even even though the profits could be there, sometimes we don't capture them, so that's why we don't want to go in too much. Yeah, yeah. I I had to switch uh, switch accounts because I took the lot on another account. Give me one second. Order history. Order history. There we go. Okay. So. <clears throat> yeah, see the question okay. uh, the question let me see what's the question what days and times are best to trade okay so um mondays are the worst um wednesday don't want to trade in the morning friday is uh it's pretty dangerous because the option expiry. Uh, I, me, my best days are Thursday. I love Thursdays. Thursday is the best for me. Um, but let me see this. Hold on. I'm trying to find these trades for you. Okay. If news times are later in the day, they, they might be good. Which, uh, do you guys remember what trade it was? It was the SPX or which one was it? Yeah, I think it's SPX, yes, yes. And the a lot of, a lot of SPX. Call. Call, okay, give me one second. I think it was the last one. The last one? Yeah. I just want, I want to understand because, I mean, there was like a break of structure and change. So it was a long, it was long position, right? Long position or yes, short? Yes, yes, yeah. A long, long, yeah, long. Man, I can't even find it. Oh, here we go. Let 
Twelve twenty-eight. Let me see. Twelve twenty-eight. Let's see. Twelve twenty-eight. I got it right there. Oh, okay. At twelve twenty-eight. Right there. Exactly at twelve twenty-eight. I got it. Yeah, well, when would you bring the uh, bullish, um, what the, uh, yeah, the um, liquidity sweep and yeah, bean bar? yes, oh, okay. sir. That's when I got in. Okay, this is uh, and then 36, and I exited the, the first, the first TP at 36. Right here, the first TP was the first level that I took right here. Oh, okay. So Initial TP was from here to here, came in at 90 cents, sold this one at $2 right here. Mm -hmm. And I was able to sell one for 360 right here. When, when you entered it, it was um, like four or five, well, at least three strikes out of the money? Uh, of the money? When I entered, it was uh, 90 cents. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was 90 cents. So it's it was pretty far down, you know? Oh, oh, yeah. It was probably yeah, three, yeah. three, three prices down, I think. That's not too bad. Yeah, a yeah, lot of time, too. too. Yeah, 90 cents. was able to get in for 90 cents and then uh, was able to push up nicely. But um, you got to remember, this was uh, a lot of people were thinking we we're going to short here, remember? But yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a major, major level. And... Um, I don't remember why, what, what, what we got in. There was probably a reason, the technicals, but this is twelve twenty eight, and this is twelve twenty eight right here. Got in, got in at twelve twenty. Yeah, actually, I think we were talking about. I mean, live when it was, we were talking about uh, ticks when, when maxing out, and we were mm, talking about that's what happened. Like, the ticks maxed probably, out right there. Yeah, yeah, and we were talking about probably they're gonna do a sweep, and that's what they did, because that's we were, were talking about the sweep too. Oh yeah, yeah liquidity sure. sweep. Yep, we were talking about it. And then we saw that they print the uh, bullish pin bar, and then we were talking about it too. The scalp turned into a trend. I had a put right here too. It wasn't just a call. I'm looking now. So oh, okay. So oh, by the way, that that could be probably like a good um frankly the move was strangle, strangle, yeah. Yeah, yeah strangle I had, I'm looking. Input. I'm looking at my nice my strike prices. I have a call and a put here, and I'm thinking I was gonna probably sell the call if we broke under. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I had a I had stop loss, so as soon as this uh Sweet contract trading. started going up, it, it exited me out the other one for a forty forty dollar loss, forty cent loss, and then um I was able to push through the rest of the lotto for I think a three hundred percent gain, five hundred percent gain, five hundred, right? I think the last one was or something. I don't know. Well, four four contracts too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me uh let me take a screenshot of that so you guys can see those last contracts there. <clears throat> but uh yeah 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 it's uh it's just uh understanding the the market and trying to find uh opportunity we you know like i tell you guys all the time we find um we find profits in the charts all the time hey jeremy can you hear me yes i can hear you fine yeah uh, so the about the lotto uh is there like um you know in general Mondays are no good, you know, Wednesday oh, too. But for... Uh, no, sure. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. For Lotto, is there like a particular time? Like maybe after two... two uh, days, it's one hour. Right? One hour. One hour to the close. Every day? Yeah. Every day. Be, oh. Every day. Yeah, sometimes it'll work. Sometimes it'll not. Sometimes yeah. yeah it's not... It's, 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 that's why it's a, it's called Lotto, right? It's not a... It's not a 100% chance, but the... Um, the it's in your favor right because of the the risk management you got to think about as what you're risking to um what you're risking versus uh what you're going to gain right okay yeah uh, and and is is this lotto mainly due to like a, a gamma gamma squeeze uh it's just because uh it's a zero DTE and the, and the, yeah, the squeeze, the premium, the, uh, it's about to close. People are trying to get out of contracts quick. It, it's a little bit of everything. 
you know? Yeah, they're also going yeah. to be in, in balance too between cost and Imbalance, exactly. They're trying to balance everything out. And uh, if you're able to, yeah, if you're, yeah, and which could result yeah. into gamma squeeze, right? Because yeah, everybody yes, yes. and then they have to balance, uh, the, you know, market based because, concept, yeah, Delta. Yeah, they have to like uh, cover the, um, I mean, hedge against the uh, other options. I mean, yeah, like a Delta options. neutral. So, uh, market you know has to do delta neutral thing and they don't care you know to, right, to yes. yes. <laughs> right and they would they would just uh, squeeze it up or down yes yes it'll be a nice idea to like watch every time i mean was the imbalance was the squeeze i mean was the gamma and stuff like that too so we can uh, find out the uh, patterns you know what's gonna happen so we can nice. what's gonna happen next yeah yeah awesome yeah dima i heard uh, uh you using some gamma you know, yeah, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to read it. Yeah, I'm trying. To a lot of block. Yeah. What, what was that? But yeah, these blocks if, where it tends to stop, or so we can. Or blocks, yeah, uh, where the oh. where the gamma exposure is is uh, negative, or positive. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Is, is it a spot gamma, gamma that you're okay. using? Because yes, I, I, yes. Spot gamma, right? Yes, yes. Oh. I mean, like, I don't know. This it's called Trader Link. You can trader check them out and see. Yeah, that's oh, the Trader Link. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, because stuff. I have like. I'm, I'm... Yeah. Sorry, yeah, I'm I'm posting screenshots to I don't know time to time. I mean, uh, so... yeah, yeah. And, and oh, then okay, okay. in the yeah, Discord, okay. he's posting uh um you know the exposures every time. So we'll... oh, it's yeah, in the yeah. Discord. So I get it. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, because I I do get like a gamma uh spot gamma re email, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh but everything changes, you know. So they give like a oral perspective once a week or something. Oh like yeah, that. you change like um like you can change like every minute too. Yeah, every second. Yeah, he, every he second. Changed, yeah that I could mean, change, right? So, but this, yeah, they have like an embedded thing in their email, so they just give an like overall picture. But things would change depending on position, size, closing, opening, etc. During the day. He, yeah. yeah, yeah. When I see major major changes, I I, I usually take screenshots and post, I post them in the, in the chat here. Oh, awesome! Yeah, yeah. I'll keep an eye on that. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, but uh, is any other questions? Is is that does that um this um I think the active trader we all gotta my, myself yeah. especially we try to get that developed to it just takes experience you have fast. to yeah you have to just keep continue to stick with it and as as you go you're gonna find you're gonna find yeah, new yeah. techniques and you're gonna find uh to speed it up yeah exactly and there's no way to teach that it just it comes with fluidly you know you got that um uh, you have to just do it. You know, I I don't know if that makes sense. You just have to. Oh, yeah, makes sense. But yeah. having a couple, like Dean said, a couple of different screens, so we don't have to change. We can just refer to it and get yeah. a big resolution, get a big screen enough, or whatever the screen is. Get everything fit in that we need. The four four different um mm -hmm. blocks, two calls, two puts, if we want. At least one one of each. Yes, sir. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. But. Yeah. Yeah, Jeremy. Quick question. Um. This, you know, on Friday, I just, you know, what, you know, uh, I talked to you before that, but, you know, I was like paper trading and uh, I got like, uh, I got in like 468 calls, for example, I got in like uh, 64 cents mm -hmm. and I think I sold it at uh, fifty-five or something, you know? Yeah, beautiful. Uh, and then same thing with, uh, you know, 469 later on, I wrote from like, 57 cents to uh, like, I think that was 300%, if I'm not wrong, 200 something, you know, close to 300. Uh, and I was like amazed uh, uh, with, you know, with the patience that you have. And, you know, now writing through, you know, what, you know, basically whatever you said, you know, I just blindly followed. Uh, but what makes you have conviction that, you know, uh, uh, besides volume, is that like you know reduction wise because you know it could flip around too, right? Just I mean, price action, man. Price action would be the best one, and the levels. As soon as you know and you have clear, clear um, confluencing factors that it's breaking that level, that's all you need, man. That's all you really need, and then everything else just just adds on as far as EMAs, uh, MACD, all of that's just extra and just adds to the conviction, you know. Um, I also, I, anytime I'm taking a trade, I'm keeping in mind probabilities and statistics, right? Uh, there's no emotional attachment. It's all about 
okay, out of 10 times, I know this trade is good. Uh, eight times, you know? So I'm going, those are the things going through my head. And I'm telling myself, okay, if it goes bad, it's okay. That means the next five are going to go my way. You know, as long as I keep to the same, to the same, same strategy, you know, uh, that I'm not flip-flopping, trying to change things. I'm using the same thing. I guarantee you, since you guys met me, I've been doing the same thing. <laughs> nothing's, nothing's changed, man. I, I play those EMAs every day and, you know, I play the trend and, you know, no calls uh, uh, below the cloud, no, no uh, puts above the cloud and be what, you know. Every day is the same thing. Nothing's changed, you know what I mean? And uh, if there's anything that I can stress, right, is don't don't change, man. Just sharpen, right? Don't change. Just back test. Don't change. Just, um, you know, find what works for you, you know what I mean? And if something's working, stick with it and, and be consistent with it, right? But always have in the back of your brain, right, that... Um, that uh <laughs> it's, can i uh can i hear something here go ahead, it's, go ahead. His, it's his experience he has years and years of experience that's and true, that has true. developed his patience today we follow him but like uh we get four more say oh i'm late i'm too early should i get out should i get in all that so because it's his experience and slowly we will get there by following him you will 100%. This is the whole objective of you guys watching it, doing it firsthand, and then it's going to become natural to you. It's going to, the same way I do it, you guys are going to do it. Maybe even better, man, because you guys have different techniques. I'm, I'm sharing with you what works for me, which I wish somebody did with me so I can kind of make it and form it to my style, right? But here, you guys got what works for me, and you guys get to conform it to yours, man, and just... And like like I said, we we can't control it. We we just have to ride when the, what they do, and have our plan. And if they change the plan, then we do what we do, follow our rules, and it'll work out overall. That's all we can do. That's all we. Yeah, can the do. most important thing. Yeah, we need everybody needs to know risk management and uh, I mean uh, work on that first. I mean that's the main main thing I mean, we should start from. One hundred percent. Know your risk management. I mean the trade will come in and then you'll feel better. I mean, you know where is your stop loss. I mean, you know how to manage your trade. That's it. That's how, I mean, that's very important. I think risk management is very important. Yeah, very, very important, guys. It is yeah, very, strategy very, very, very important. Why does it keep opening this screen? That's weird. Yeah, risk management, I, you know, yeah, that's that's really important <laughs> because I, I, I would make money and then I would lose everything, you know, like, and more yeah uh, yeah so if i and then i say oh wait a minute if i just had like some kind of a stop loss i would have at least minimize my loss you know yes yes uh, yeah 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 it's uh it's just understanding of understanding when to stop when to walk away when when to um you know what i mean when when to know it's enough yeah you like know? say not not trying other things staying with one thing and mastering yeah, find, it. Yeah, and find what works for you, man. Find exactly what works for you guys. Here we go. Finally open up my account. <clears throat> Kept going to freaking IRA and then paper trade and I don't know, weird. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, you know, if anything, if anything this year, man, just concentrate on the cycles and the trend. Wait for levels to break. Uh, I know it, there's a lot of uh, patience and discipline that comes with this but that's just how it is man yeah uh, remember when we're patient we get rewarded right yeah, yeah. Um, we have to understand when the trade is done the trade is done it's, it goes against us we gotta just let it go that's it there, sh there should be no emotional attachment <laughs> that's it <clears throat> but uh that's it for me guys that's it is there uh uh one last thing trader would you like to introduce uh, yourself to the team i don't know you should. sorry Oh, so it's stream options, right? Yeah, you guys know him. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's been he's been here for over a year. I, uh, I'm gonna change my Mike handle Mark. soon. <laughs> uh, that's my generic uh, thing, but uh, yeah, yep, yep, yeah. I've been I've been here. Uh, yeah, he's, he's been here. Gosh, and <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's uh, out at the same time. Yeah, he's yeah. yeah he, 
He's from SPX room too. Yeah. Sorry? He's from uh, SPX room too. Yeah. Yeah. What's your yeah. name though? SPX, yep. You and remember you three boxes? Were good, right? <laughs> yeah. In the beginning, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Good good session, man. Good uh good session, yeah. yeah. Good session, man. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Just something to uh nothing crazy, just a little something to kind of get the, the wheels moving. You know, we took this week uh super, super slow. Uh we didn't size crazy. Uh we had a good week and we're gonna go into next week with the si same mindset. We're gonna go Monday, we're gonna we're gonna trade real, real smart and safe. And as as the week continues to unfold we'll we'll up our size and uh we'll play according to plan we will not um try to do anything uh cowboy style or um anything uh you know crazy we're just gonna we're gonna do basic fundamental trading we're gonna trade the trend we're gonna wait for levels to break and we're gonna take our profits that's it guys yes sir yes sir the future of the bride <laughs> yeah, sure. thank, you, bro. thank you everyone yeah, learn and learn thank you yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank yeah, you, one, yeah. One thing before yeah, good I, night. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. One thing. One thing <laughs> good night, pretty much, right? <laughs> yeah. One thing before I go, I I, I wanna I wanna touch on and remind you guys. I tell you guys this every Friday. Um, let's put the charts away until Monday. Uh, I need you guys to take this time to you know enjoy your family and just like kind of relax a little bit. Um, you know, I know it was only a, not even a full week week this week, but um. You know, uh, on Sunday, I'm going to have an assignment for you guys. And uh, that assignment is going to be, um, I need you to tell me what you did this weekend. I need you to do something that that's going to bring uh, enjoyment or some sort of happiness, love, something. I need, I need you guys to do something like that this weekend uh, just to kind of keep this energy and this momentum going that we have, how we started this year. And... Uh, we just kind of, we just want to keep going. We want to keep, keep everything positive. Um, and uh, man, enjoy your guys' family this weekend. And please, please, please stay off the charts. Um, the charts aren't going anywhere. The charts aren't going to move. We have Monday through Friday to look at the charts next week. So the, these next two days, Saturday and Sunday, go relax, man. Go play some sports, go fishing, go, go, go with your family, go out to eat, do whatever makes you happy and puts a smile on your face. And on Sunday night, there's going to be an assignment that um, I need you guys to tell me what you did. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I need you guys to tell yeah, me. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm anticipating. Snow. Snow. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. I was thinking about that too. We got some snow, I mean, last night. So it's yeah. still yeah. snowing too. So. Nice, nice. Yeah, I want pictures. Do something, guys. Please, please. All right. yes, so yes, we can yes. keep this... Uh, this type of vibe, oh, this yeah. this energy going. We, you know, we already started the year good, and let's just keep going, guys. Let's keep going, and uh, that's it for me. I will catch you guys on uh, on Monday, thirty minutes prior to the open. Um, uh, until then, go ahead and uh, check the Discord uh, Sunday night, maybe after dinner. I'll go ahead and have a quick assignment for you guys to see what you guys did this weekend, and then. Um, like I said, I'll meet you guys 30 minutes prior to open on Monday. Sure. Sound good. Sound good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Have Bye, a nice everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.